Hey guys, it's Loie. So I'm back today with another kind of body talking video. I don't necessarily know if this is like body confidence related, but it is about something that so many of you commented to me um, in my last two body confidence, like body peace videos that I have put up. I try to make a generalized video just on confidence, on how I stay positive when other people are saying negative things or when, um, you know, I look in the mirror and initially I don't like what I see. However, I felt like I got a bit scatterbrained and I just wanted to really put things in a more concise format and I wanted to come back on here and kind of say what I was thinking a little bit more clearly. So something that so many of you have said to me, whether it was through your Instagram messages, which by the way, I read every single comment, every single email, every like everything that you send me, every single dime that I do, I just, I get the hugest smile. But one thing that always just kind of makes me sad because again, I've been there, I've done this, I, you know, I've been through what you're going through is a lot of you have told me, those of you that are younger and still are living at home, that your parents or your friends or someone really close to you, your family has called you fat or told you to lose weight. So we're not talking a medical professional at this point. We are talking your someone really close to you, a friend, a, a friend, a family member, someone um, has just made a comment about your body. Now this doesn't necessarily have to be because you're fat or you're you know like skinny. You can look however you look, and people are still going to make comments about your body, and still they're going to tell you to change certain things. Um, there was a point in my life where I was like not overweight, and I was actually underweight for my body type. And I've I've said before that I'm not like comfortable talking about this, but I have been underweight, and. Um, I mean, it didn't last long, but my grandmother, I remember, told me that she wanted to, like, feed me a hamburger and that, like, you know, I looked awful and I just, I look so bad. And I'm sitting there like, okay, well, I was big. Now I'm really skinny. Can I not, like, please anyone? So I've been on both ends of the spectrum, obviously one for much longer than the other. But I did just want to tell you guys who are going through this, who have had people really close to you say that kind of thing and you can't do anything but feel like absolute crap about yourself that it's not always coming from a dark or a negative place. Sometimes people are genuinely being assholes and they're just being catty and they're, you know, calling you fat for no reason. Um, however, I can understand where my parents were coming from because my dad is a diabetic. And, you know, my basically my entire life, both of my parents were overweight. And then it kind of got to a point where I was really overweight and I was like leading such an active lifestyle. My parents weren't really sure why. And they took the initiative at that point. They were like, okay, we're all a little bit on the, you know, chubbier side, whatever. Um, we, you know, we didn't diet, but we made healthier life choices. And when I still didn't lose weight, I think it almost frustrated them and it scared them. And it made them think that I was doing something outside of this healthy lifestyle that they had kind of formatted for me and that I wasn't exercising enough, I wasn't doing this enough, you know, I had to run and blah, 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 whatever. Um, I hope you guys are kind of understanding where I'm coming from. And I remember they would always like make little comments, like pick at me about my weight, um, that kind of thing, tell me to go for a run. It, it, it really, it breaks you down after a while. And if you were like me and you actually were doing these things and you still weren't seeing results, I can't imagine how frustrated you must be. But understand that when people say that, even though it is coming, you know, you're hearing it and it's like the shittiest thing anyone's ever said, it's not always coming from a place of hurt. It's not always coming from a place of like, or not hurt, but wanting to hurt you. It's not always coming from a place of like maliciousness. Often it is coming from a place of worry. And sometimes people really are concerned because being overweight, obviously, just as being underweight can have negative effects on you for the rest of your life. However, if you are leading a healthy lifestyle and if you are fueling your body with what you're supposed to, if you're being active, and most importantly, you are mentally being okay with yourself and your body and who you are, then there's really nothing that can just change. Your parents and whoever else is saying this to you can't just tell you you're fat and it's like, well, dang, 
never mind, I guess I won't be fat anymore or I won't be overweight or whatever. I think that sometimes people don't understand that. There's no constructive criticism in telling someone that you think that they're overweight or chubby or whatever. There is nothing good about that. No good is going to come from saying those words to someone. Something more helpful would honestly be sitting down and saying to them, I am worried about your health. I want to know if you're doing this or this or this. And if, you know, you were a family member or whatever, if you said that and you approached the subject in a much gentler way, I think it would be a lot better than like telling, you know, your child, your friend, whatever, that they are chubby, they're fat, whatever. And I, if they say that they are, if they're, you know, if they're living a healthy lifestyle, then leave it alone. There's nothing you can do about it. I, I don't really know how to say it any other way. And if you are on the opposite end of the spectrum, if you are the person getting the comments from, you know, whoever is close to you, I, the next time that it comes up, I would very gently, very rationally say, when you say that to me, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't help me. It only hurts me. I am being healthy. I am being active. Whatever it is that you're doing, I am, you know, focusing on school right now. It, what Whatever you need to say, say it in the calmest, most intelligent, most thought out way possible and then very politely ask them to stop and say, I know that you're concerned about me, but no good is going to come of you saying it that way. And I understand your concern, but I am taking care of it. Don't worry about it. So approaching it in that sort of a way, I really wish now I had done that with my parents because most of the time I just like went to my bedroom and cried because what the hell, like my parents thought I was chubby. But a lot of the times it's just from a place of concern. And for my parents, it took me reaching a very, 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 very dark place for them to understand exactly the level that like constant, constant beating down saying, you know, you're not this, you're not that, you're too big, honestly had on me. And I don't want this to turn into like me, 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 but it's just really important for people to understand the effect that that phrase or picking on you for little tidbits, whether or not they say that they're joking, it just, it really will have a long-term effect and they need to understand that. So I think that that would be the best way to go about it. Um, and if you try it at that point and they are still badgering you, then what can you do? I mean, just ignore them, let it roll off your back, understand that you have now said to them that it's genuinely hurting you and they're not listening. So I, I hate to say it like that, but you can't control what other people do. You can only control what you do. So I hope that this was helpful to those of you who are going through it. I am trying to put out these videos a little bit more frequently, but it's really difficult for me to sit down and get out what I want to get out. This is very open and very personal for me. This is a lot of talking for me. This is not what I am like. I'm not schooled in this, so it just, it takes a little bit more than like sitting here and telling you about like beauty or superficial things for me to talk about, you know, your body or your, you know, body confidence. And I just, I want to be really careful about what I say and make sure I'm saying what I mean and not like ranting and maybe not saying something the way that I'm supposed to or the way that I want to. So I would love to know any other topics for these type of videos that you guys would like to see in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, I love you girls so much. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And until my next one, I love you girls so much and I will see you very soon. Bye!